everybody, welcome back to Nothing But Car Reviews. My name is Tony, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So this one in particular comes in rabbit red metallic on black perforated leather interior. Our powertrain on this one is going to consist of a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 made into a 10 speed automatic transmission. And this one is not that Larry trim level, but we also have the FX4 off-road package as well. And then there we have that newer back end there. And we're going to go ahead and pop this tailgate. So pretty good size space there. And then of course we have a 120 volt prong household plug in there then we have a little workstation here if you need to measure cut wood whatever so we just lock that back into place but I really like this rapid red looks really good on this truck let's take a look at these wheels here 20 inch aluminum. I like how they kind of put that metallic finish to it. It looks really sleek. And we have those hand cooked tires on there. Black running boards. You get past the key's entry on the front two doors. And then let's come around this front end here. I really like this gloss black finish we have with the grill here. It really gives it a sporty look. We have that right here and a little bit down here as well. And we also have LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. Let's pop this in. Look at that V8. Like I said, 5.0 V8. Has a nice little hum to it. But next, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So here in this F-150, we do have the option for that $1,500 twin panel moonroof. So my head space is just a little bit lower than it would be when without a roof, but still very good, very good seating arrangement here. I have a lot of space, very comfortable. And um, I, you know, my knees can go underneath the steering wheel, so on and so forth. And it feels great. And of course we have a heated steering wheel here, but over here we have our cruise controls and we have adaptive cruise on this one in particular. We have that lane keep system. We can adjust that gap adjust with the cruise. Volume controls here, voice activation here, and then Bluetooth control here. Track list of radio station controls we can toggle here. And then we can go through our gauge cluster using all these buttons here. And I love how it's all digital and just really nice and big. I love how Ford doesn't have a lot going on here, but all the important stuff is nice and big in front of you. You can change the view, of course, if you want to. But over here, we have our headlamp controls fog light controls we can toggle that tailgate and then we have an electronic parking brake which we pull up to engage then we hit the brake press down and disengage and then we even have our adjustable pedals here but over to this door panel I really like how they have this brown up here it looks really nice it is some sort of plastic but just looks really good against this finish here and then the black throughout the rest of the door panel. But we have our power window controls, our power mirror controls here. And then we have a B&O sound system there, eight speaker. And then we have power door locks here. And then we have our memory seat functions as well. And let's just get in this door panel because there's just so much storage. You have a storage pocket here cup holders here, storage here, and then you even have storage over there as well. 
But next, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at this radio. So here we have a nice, huge touchscreen radio here. We can go ahead and toggle between AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. And then you also have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. There's our navigation screen. And what I really like about the system is because the screen is so big, you can have the nav pulled up here for directions and then also have your radio stations over here. And then you can make that big, change the station or whatever, and then go back to your navigation while it's still up on the screen. So really neat. And then here are those apps there for the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And then for our towing, we can actually add a trailer, whatever. And then we can have a setup there. So whenever we hook our trailer up, the truck kind of knows what to do and can kind of walk us through what needs to happen to make sure that all of our checklist is done. And there's our backup camera there, 360 view. And then I love how the guidelines are in that white as you turn. And then you still have your distance guidance here with the red, yellow, and green hash marks to see how close you are to an object. And then up here, of course, we can toggle our camera there. Parking sensors, hazards, traction control, hill descent. And then below the radio, we have our volume knob, tune knob. We can go ahead and cut the screen on and off. And then we have our play buttons. Another 120 volt three prong plug in there, along with a 12 volt. And then for our dual zone automatic climate controls, we can control all that through there and then it actually show up on the screen. But we also have three stage heated and cooled seats, which we can toggle right here for the driver and front passenger. And then there's that heated steering wheel toggle there. And for our four wheel drive, we can go ahead and four high, two, we can do the four wheel drive automatic or the four low which that four-wheel drive automatic is really helpful and it's pretty intuitive. But then we can also turn this and then up here on our gauge cluster, it'll actually toggle between tow haul mode, eco mode, sport. I mean, they're about, what is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight modes. And half of them are just for terrain and what you use your four-wheel drive for, so really cool. But down here on the pad, we have wireless charging. Really big size there, and I like that for bigger phones. And then we have a USB-C port, USB-A port. We can run that Apple CarPlay or Android Auto off of. And then over here to the shifter, we have a little storage here, cup holders here. But what's really neat is you can actually fold that shifter down in there and then fold it back up and then reverse neutral drive and then you can hit a button for manual mode and then on the side of the shifter here we actually can manually shift up and down but I just love how you can kind of stow that away and then onto our center console This actually folds flat and you can turn this into like a workstation. And then you have plenty of storage space in here. And I really love how Ford has done this because it's just really innovative and very simple. And you can really turn this into a full-time office if you want to. But over here, as we get to our glove compartment and all that, have a little storage up here. And then we have a lockable glove compartment down here. And while we're in here, let's just take a quick look at this window sticker. Sticker for right at $70,115. And then we have the 360 degree camera package and then the Lariat Sport appearance package. And then a few other options, paint, the FX4, sound system, 20s. And then this one actually has the bigger 36 gallon fuel tank. So quite a few options there. But 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and check out the back seat. So onto the back seat here, just crazy amount of space. This seat is so far back over here on this passenger side, but compared to the driver's side where I have it adjusted for someone of my size, plenty of space. My knees would not be touching the back of this seat and they're just barely touching the back of this passenger seat here. And just a lot of space for my shoulders, probably about half an inch to an inch of headroom, like I said, due to that twin panel moonroof. And just take a quick look at that. In my opinion, it's worth having a little less headroom because I just love having that openness. And then this roof actually goes pretty much all the way back. And even when it's closed, it's just nice to have that view of the sky. But down here, let's go to our center seat. That leather sounds real nice. But we have two cup holders here. And then we can just fold that back. And then we have a middle seat here. And then on to the rear AC, we have vents back here, no controls, but we can adjust the vents there. We have a 12 volt there. And then we also have two stage heated seats for the outboard passengers. And then a USB-C and a USB-A charging port and another 120 volt three prong household plug in there. Just a lot going on here. And then we even have a power rear sliding window here. And just, if you need to slide something back through there or whatever, you can go through to the front. But just a really usable truck I'm starting to see here. But next, I think we're gonna go ahead and take it on the road for a quick test drive, see how this 5.0 does on the streets. here oh I like that sound and that's just normal mode right there I'm gonna put in a sport and see how it drives give it some throttle here Just sounds so beefy, this five liter. Really great sound. I'm gonna put it in the eco mode now and I'm gonna see how it accelerates with everything being dialed back a little bit as we get on the interstate here. I mean, this 10 speed just shifts seamlessly. And the eco mode, it does a really good job at kind of insisting that you don't give it too much throttle, but it also doesn't hold you back when you put your foot into it. And then here we have that Copilot 2.0. which I have in my Mustang Mach-E, just a really good overall system. And we're probably getting around 17, 18, maybe closer to 20, coming down this stretch of the interstate here. And the wind noise is just a little prevalent, but Not an issue for me at all. And really good brake pedal feel. Very consistent. And 
we'll just give it a little bit of throttle coming out of this corner while we're still in eco mode, see how it accelerates. So if you put your foot in it, it'll still go really like that. And what I appreciate about this truck, which these are, there's a reason these have been the best selling pickup truck for however many years in a row. As I'm driving down, even driving down the interstate, I don't hear anything rattling. I don't hear anything out of place. Just everything is smooth, quiet. And the sound that the powertrain gives you when you give it just halfway throttle is just, I just love it. I love everything about it. It just sounds really good sounds beefy without being overly loud and I'm really excited to drive an f-150 lightning actually which the the interior will probably be similar other than that big screen to this one but I just want to see how they take their game to the next level because they're one of the best when it comes to making a pickup truck for it is, but an electric vehicle that also just happens to be a pickup truck, I'm just interested to see how, how that goes. But I'm thoroughly impressed with this F-150 Lariat here. Very good, actually great ride quality, just great overall driving dynamics. I like how the hood slopes down and it makes it easier to see out in front plenty of safety features plenty of cameras pretty good B&O sound system really just have no complaints about this truck whatsoever so with all that being said this is going to bring me to an end of my review of the 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat